So I have a really quick, easy, short nail manicure for you today. It's going to be a gel manicure, and I'm going to use my young nails first. Just go in and lay down my protein bond. I don't, of course, there's no extensions on my nails or anything. I do have a slightest bit of product left over that I just didn't care too much to get off. It's not going to hurt anything, and it's not going to mess up this manicure. So... We'll just get our young nails applied. You can apply this once or twice. I find that my nails are fine just doing it once, so that's what I do. Just finishing this off. Then once you give that a couple seconds to dry, we can go in with our base coat. I'm using Glitter Bell's base coat, and I'm going to just gently slightly apply a nice layer I do want to make sure I get it from sidewall to sidewall on my nail and of course from back to front and I want the whole surface to be covered my nails are super duper thin so it really helps me to have this layer of gel on to help strengthen my nails and protect them so I'm going to be doing an acrylic nail in about a day or two. So I want this set to just be a nice protection, protective layer and I want it to look fairly natural. So I'm going to be using my Beauty Pal gel colors and I'm starting with the lightest one. And if, if I feel like this one's too light, then I'll probably go in just with a slightly darker pink. But really both of them are really light. And we're not going to mess and fuss about, you know, getting out our little Sharpie uh, brush, you know, to make sure we get the back perfect or the sides perfect. I'm just going to apply it, paying attention to, to, you know, where my sides are and whatnot, not getting it on the skin. Or if I do, wiping it off certainly before I cure it. Now, I know a lot of people love to watch this part and just kind of relax, unwind and enjoy it. So I'm going to let the music play and I'm going to just kind of hush my mouth for a little bit. And if I need to pop in and say something, I'll do it very quietly as to not affect your relaxation. By this point, I had decided that I did want to go with the darker pink. So on my next coat, we're going to do a shade darker. I definitely feel like this darker shade of pink is just perfect. It just kind of gave it just a little bit of color that it needed.
For my top coat, I'm going to use one of my favorites from Glitter Bells. It's a hollow top coat and it's no wipe. Super easy and beautiful. Now, Glitter Bells has a lot of builder gels and their consistency of their gel polishes or top coats or base coat is going to be a little bit thicker than probably what you're used to. But nonetheless, I think it's very high quality product. By the way, this little ring I'm wearing is one that is from my Shein haul, and I want to say it was maybe $2. I think it's super cute, well worth it. Uh, if you want a closer look at that, just head over to that video after this one. So now, after you get your top coat applied, that's when I go in with my file, and I just kind of want to make these very natural, rounded. Like I said, my nails are super duper short. They're not normally this short. They have been for a while though, because I've been trying to kind of grow them out from the damage from nail school last year. <laughs> so it takes my nails a really long time to grow out because of, I have health issues. And um, so yeah, they're still growing out. And in the meantime, I just keep them super short. thought those nails were short my pinky nail is super duper short so <laughs> she's almost almost non-existent but <laughs> not quite um, so I just have to be very very careful and gentle and this is our final look I think they came out really really pretty they look very natural they look very simple and clean